Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of these end times. In this program, I want to take another look at the amazing prophecies of Nathan, or Nathan in English, this 15-year-old Jewish boy who had an amazing near-death experience several months ago. And he saw a vision of Israel's imminent future. And I believe he received true prophecy. And do you understand the significance of what I just said? Don't forget, Jesus cursed the fig tree. He said, your house is left desolate to you. And that means there would be no more true prophets in Israel. This shows how close we are to the end times. Because God is lifting that punishment. He is relenting. Not only that... But if Nathan is correct, God is not even asking the Jews to accept his son as their Messiah. This is truly amazing. All they have to do is to read Torah and perform mitzvot, that is, acts of kindness. Unfortunately, I don't believe Israel is even going to accept this bare minimum which Nathan is prophesying to them. I believe Nathan, his name, by the way, means gift, is prefigured in the Old Testament, 2 Kings, by what the 42 youths did to the prophet Elisha. They made fun of him. They said, go up, you baldy. And the prophet Elisha cursed those 42 youths, and two she-bears came out of the woods and mauled the 42 youths. Those 42 youths prefigure end times Israel. All Nathan is asking them to do is to repent. I don't believe Israel will repent. And Nathan says that they are facing a holocaust. Millions of Jews are going to die in the imminent future. I believe this will be worse than the Nazi Holocaust. And now I would like to review Nathan's testimony. I'd like to go through this in detail, and I won't get it all done on this program. And you are going to find that Nathan's vision verifies not only the prophecies of Zechariah, Ezekiel, and Daniel, but also prophecies in the New Testament by John in the book of Revelation and the prophecies of Jesus himself. That's why I believe Nathan is the last true prophet to Israel. And so the first thing we see is Nathan tells us what his near-death experience is like where he is judged in heaven. You see the mitzvah and the transgressions, that is, the good on one side and the evil on the other. They put them on a scale, and you see it. Here the mitzvot, and there the transgressions. And it is very interesting that Nathan is here verifying what the Catholic Church has said all along, and that is that we will be judged by our works. And if you don't believe me, read Matthew 25 verses 31 through 46 and the book of Revelation chapter 20 verses 12 through 15. And now Nathan goes on to explain why he chose to return to earth because he was given a choice. He could have stayed in heaven. I could like earn a greater reward and do more mitzvot and reach an even higher level. He's talking about in heaven. So why would I want to stay there and not do that? So I said that I would rather go back down, and they let me go back down. Now, in this next picture, you will see that Nathan is wearing a zitzit, and that refers to tassels on a prayer shawl. And if you take a close look at this, you will see that this zitzit that Nathan is now wearing obviously prefigures Mary's rosary and scapular, which I have always said 
are the weapons which Jesus will use to defeat the Antichrist. And the rabbi shows the uh, tzitzit, says, Now he has tzitzit, praised be Hashem's name. Now, Hashem is the Jewish term for God Almighty, the Father. Hashem means the name. They don't ever actually pronounce God's name. And now Le uh, Rabbi Levi sums up Nathan's lesson on how to get to heaven. And here's what he says. He advises us to learn Torah, read the Old Testament, fulfill the mitzvah, do good works. The reward is great, and in that way man won't suffer there, and have he will receive a great reward. Now it's amazing that God, in his great mercy, is asking only the barest of minimum of the Jews in end times Israel. All they have to do is read the Bible, perform good works, and they will be saved. Will they do it? Will they reject Natan just as they rejected, just as those 42 youths rejected Elisha? And now Rabbi Levi asks Natan about the Mashiach. Now, Mashiach means the Messiah or the Anointed One. And Nathan says that he saw the Mashiach, but he cannot identify him. Now, what is more interesting for us, this is the rabbi speaking, I want to ask you questions about the Mashiach. Now, a lot of people on here on YouTube have made videos questioning, YouTube, uh, questioning Nathan's vision because they understand that the Mashiach that Nathan sees cannot possibly be Jesus Christ, and they are correct. And therefore, they debunk his entire testimony, which is a huge mistake. Now, I originally thought that Natan saw the Antichrist. I now realize that he did see a Mashiach, the Mashiach that is found in Daniel 9. And as I have said before, this anointed one is not Jesus Christ in these end times. And the rabbi asked, could you know who the Mashiach was? Nathan says, I couldn't know, I could only know what his traits were, what he needs to be in order to be Mashiach. The rabbi says, and can you tell us if he is here or there? Now listen to what Nathan says. It has to be somebody who is here, who people know. But when he becomes the Mashiach, everybody will be surprised. Now this is really amazing. And I have been telling you all along that this Mashiach in Daniel 9, who I believe is the Messiah Daniel saw, is in fact the prophet Elijah. And Elijah has told us that he is here in that amazing fire tornado in Australia. And the rabbi asks, that means that when the Mashiach, with Hashem's help, is revealed, it will be a surprise. It will be like, wow, that is the Mashiach, like that. And I have also been telling you here on YouTube that the Mashiach, the Messiah, the anointed one of Daniel 9, is none other than Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And next, the rabbi asks about the great war that Natan saw. Now I want to go back to something else. You said that you could know what was going to happen in the world. And according to what I understood, what I told you about Mashiach and everything, I also understood that the Geula, Geula, that's Hebrew and it means the redemption of Israel, and the revelation of Mashiach is going to happen very soon. It's like going to happen in the very near future. It's imminent. Now this is Natan speaking. I thought it was the rabbi, but it's Natan. It's like imminent. The Jeula is really going to happen. It's going to be something that is called a very big war. And everybody, the whole world, will be involved in that war, according to what I understood. The whole world will be involved in that war. Everybody, all the Goyim, that means the Gentiles, all the Arabs, Everybody will come against the nation of Israel and will fight 
in that war. And Nathan goes on, it will begin, the person who starts the war, will be somebody named Gog. As far as I understood up there, only up there I understood. So Nathan is saying that he was not told this ahead of time. He is not a student at Yeshiva. He learned all of this, all of this vision he received when he was in heaven during his near-death experience. And the rabbi asked, how will it begin? And Nathan says, it will begin, the person who will start the war will be somebody named Gog, as far as I understood up there. And the rabbi asked him, and do you know who this Gog is? And Nathan says, I am certain of who it is. And the rabbi asks, who is it? And Nathan says, Obama. Now, as you, my regular subscribers, know, I have been here for seven years on YouTube telling you that Barack Obama would start World War III. Maybe Nathan is not a true prophet after all. Maybe he has been watching my videos. And some of you might ask, why would Obama start World War III? Well, if you also know my other prophecy, that Obama would be our last American president, you know why. He must cause some kind of chaos that will give him justification to cancel the election. The Illuminati are not going to allow somebody like Donald Trump or anyone else to be elected president of the United States who will take back all the gains that their big puppet Barack Obama has achieved. Now I should mention here that in fact, Nathan did see the real Mashiach. He did see Jesus Christ, although he did not recognize him. It's interesting that that part of Nathan's testimony has been censored. You cannot find that in any English video on YouTube. How do we know that Nathan saw the Mashiach? Now he calls him Hashem, which means God. And that is because the Hashem he saw was wearing a robe splattered with blood. That is right out of the book of Revelation. It's no wonder the rabbis are censoring that part of Nathan's vision because they understood who he saw as the real Mashiach. Now that's the end of part one. Because there is a whole lot more to Natan's vision. I wanted to go through it. The details are amazing. As I said, he verifies many of the prophecies in the New Testament, including that of Jesus himself in the Olivet Discourse. And if you would like to know more information about my ministry here on YouTube, visit my thirdeaglemedia.com website.